Hello everyone, this is M&J Travel, my name is Mike. I'm Jenna. Yeah, we are driving home again from Edmonton and we thought what better than to challenge each other at some Disney trivia. We got 10 cards from that trivia game and she's going to ask me 10 cards and I'm going to ask her 10 cards and then we're going to see who is the Disney master. <laughs> Which Disney animated feature stars three lovable stone gargoyles? Hunchback and Notre Dame. This is not Thank starting off well. Thank you. Name one of three Disney film films, films with the word black in its title. Black Hole. That's not fair. Black Cauldron. It's the Black Cauldron one. Oh, so it is. Okay. Bam. Okay, just because you're two for two, two for two, don't get too excited. You might blaze out. <laughs> the song of the Roustabouts is from what animated feature? The song of the Roustabouts. Dumbo or Alice in Wonderland? The Roustabouts. Roustabouts. Alice in Wonderland. <gasps> is incorrect. Mm. Oh. Where are all they in Dumbo? I don't know. Rouse the I didn't make the question. I'm just reading it out. What do I do? What do I do? Doobity doobity do. Pack of nerves. Okay. Let's just get to the next question. In Disney's The Lion King Simba's Pride, uh, who is Kovu supposed to kill? I think I've seen that film since I first got it on VHS back in 90, whenever that was. Well, you better search the deep recesses of your memory, sir, and figure it Is out. Is it? Oh, no, you can't really tell me. Uh, no, I can't. That's, that's a challenge. It's going to be a character I've never even remembered. It's Zazu. <laughs> Is incorrect. Uh, it's actually Simba. Oh! <laughs> no. Simba, does he? I don't think he wants to. That's the whole crux of the film. He doesn't do it, isn't it? I don't know. I can't remember a thing about it. I remember that he's like so, uh, Scar's son, right? Yeah. And Simba's daughter falls in love with him. But other than that, I don't know. I had a, uh, a string bag that had Lion King 2 written on it. It came with the video. Are you really proud of that bag? Did you sport that bag I s No, I did wear it, but not out. <laughs> I wore it inside. True or false? Tom Sawyer Ireland is located in Adventureland at Disneyland Park and the Walt Disney World Resort. Uh, false. Only Disneyland. False. It's actually Frontierland. Oh. So it's, it's located in <laughs> Yay! Rome. Somehow you got that right. <laughs> that was lucky. That counts. I should have taken away a point for that. That counts. True or false? Prince Eric celebrates his birthday. Disney's The Little Mermaid. False? Mm. Does he celebrate his What do you think he's doing in the beginning of the movie on the ship? Where he gets gifted with a giant statue of himself. Oh, I thought he was just saying. Watch a movie, would you? <laughs> you giving me flack for not saying Mary Poppins? I thought he was just sailing around. In Disney's Meet the Deedles. <laughs> What is the vengeful ex-park ranger obsessed with stealing? Grizzly bears, Old Faithful, or picnic baskets? Old Faithful. Dang it. Well, that's correct. Yay. No idea what that is. Neither do I. Meet the Deedles. I'll have to watch it. Yeah. In the animated feature Bambi, does Bambi sing any songs? No. That's correct. Yay. Which of the following Disney films did not star actor Kurt Russell? The horse in the grey flannel suit? Oh my goodness. Gus? Or the barefoot executive? The barefoot executive. It's incorrect, it is Gus. Oh. <laughs> Kurt Russell's actually Walt Disney's last words. Supposedly. <laughs> it's true, I think. In Disney's Meet the Deedles, oh. is, this, uh, is set at which national park? Yosemite or Yellowstone? Yellowstone. Dang it! Yay! Ew. In Disney Pixar's A Bug's Life, what is Hopper afraid of? Rats, birds, or snakes? Oh, birds. That's an easy one. Yeah. In 
Disney's Mighty Joe Young. When Joe escapes from his man-made confines, which city does he terrorize? London, New York, or Los Angeles? Just read the answer and I've forgotten already. Uh, I want to say Los Angeles. Do you want to say Los Angeles? Because New York would be too close to King Kong, right? All right, I'll give you a point, because that was correct. Yay! Yeah, I don't think they want to rip off King Kong. Probably not. I have seen Mighty Joe. I'm going to remember anything about it, but I didn't watch it. What song do the three little pigs sing? How is that a Disney question? Uh, and who doesn't know the answer to that? Three little pigs. What do they sing? What? <laughs> Come on, kid. The three little pigs sing a song? Okay, I'm not helping you with this. I thought this one would be like three nursery pigs. rhymes, like super easy. But three little pigs. Three, three little, little pigs. pigs. See how many. they run. See how they run. Three little pigs don't sing a song, do they? Okay, never mind. Isn't it the wolf blowing what? the house down? I need an answer. The three little pigs. The three little pigs. Just saying it over and over again. I thought he was going to get I you to the know. answer. I don't know. I don't know what that is. What did they say? Are you I'm afraid? done. Yeah, I'm Who's afraid of the big bad Oh, one? Chim Chimini. <laughs> I don't know that. Oh. Who is the human villain in Disney's Tarzan? Clayton. Dang it. Clayton. Clayton. What star of a popular ABC Disney One Saturday Morning program stars in his own stage show at Disney's MGM Studios theme park? Bill Nye? That is so cool! Sorry, that's not right. No. Doug Funny! <laughs> Doug had his own ride at MGM? Who's Doug Funny? From Doug, you moron. I thought that was a Nickelodeon show. Well, that's kind of what the issue is, because there was... Like, don't you remember when they rebanded it and re rebranded it or something? Like... Patty's hair went from like being kind of this like flowery kind of shape, and then she got like really short pixie cut and stuff. Like there was something there about. It's always on Nickelodeon in the UK, I'm sure. In the Silly Symphony cartoon, Three Little Pigs, <laughs> when the big bad wolf can't break down Practical Pig's door, how does he get it? Uh, does he knock? He does not knock. He goes down the chimney. Oh. Very clever. True or false? In Disney's Flubber. Favorite. The original or remake? Uh, I don't know. No. Bennett Honecker gets kicked off the Medfield football team for failing calculus. Calculus. True or false? I don't know if that's in the first one. True. It's actually false. He fails chemistry, not no. calculus. The line, till we find our place on, a, on the path unwinding, is from what popular Disney song? Oasis. Did you have a single 
Right. You did, you got Yay. the last question right. Don't play games with me, Mary Jane. <laughs> what Disney animated film features a place called Devil's Bayou? The Rescuers or The Little Mermaid? Rescuers. Obviously. Definitely. Little Mermaid doesn't go anywhere near a bayou. <laughs> Three lives of Thomasina. What kind of animal is Thomasina? A rabbit, a cat, or a pony? Uh, if it were a cat, it'd be nine lives. So I'll go with a pony. Yeah, this cat apparently only has three lives. What? <laughs> Sorry. Maybe it's just taking like a segment of his three lives. Three of nine lives. Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe the, maybe the three most important lives Wait of his life. Wait a second. Was that the VHS tape you bought the other day with the really weird looking kid on the cover, the little girl, and the cat in the basket or whatever? Yes. Yes, it was. Question. Ah, uh, with the girl from Mary Poppins. Should have watched it. Should have watched, watched it. it. What Disney film made Hakuna Matata a household phrase? The Lion King. I'm sorry, it's Disney's The Lion King. Yeah. <laughs> Disney's Pocahontas journey to a new world. What diplomat does King James send to America to get an Indian am ambassador? Uh, John Rolfe or John Smith? John Rolfe. Sure about that? Yes. You John, sure about that? Because that's the right answer. John Smith's the Mel Gibson guy. He's the main guy, isn't he? But isn't he in the second one, too? I think so. Let's move on. <laughs> this, 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 that movie's not even worth talking about. But doesn't John Smith stay with Pocahontas at the end of the first Pocahontas? So therefore King James would have to send someone else to get him. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Who provided the voice for Wendy from Peter Pan and Alice from uh, Walt Disney's yeah, Alice in Wonderland? Yeah, is that a bold choice? You got Catherine Beaumont or Terry Crew? Beaumont. Definitely Beaumont. Another one right for you, sir. Bow, 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 bow. What is Casey Jr.? That is the question. What is Casey Jr.? Oh my god. Uh, Can anyone get this one? Is he a lampshade? He is apparently a circus train from Walt Disney's Dumbo. Oh. Train? That's a good question. Oh, I was thinking of Luxo Jr. from the uh, Pixar thing, the lamp. <laughs> uh, what is the name of the heroine of Disney's Return to Oz? Annette, Dorothy, or Belle? Dorothy? Or is this a trick question? Heroine. It's, it's Dorothy, let's just move oh, okay. on. Who plays her? Freeze a bulk. You don't get any bonus points. Stop trying to impress the people at home. <laughs> name one of the two Disney animated films in which the song It's a Small World is briefly sung. Lion King. It's a small world after all. No! No! Anything but that. Yep. Is that the name both of them? Uh, it just says one of the one two. Two, okay. Lion the other King. one is apparently in Return of Jafar. Oh, I think it's a genie it? Yeah. Yeah, I never got that. How many Disney animated films feature Flit, Miko, and Percy? Two? Dang you. Yeah! You didn't know who Miko is. Uh, I, he's the little uh, skunk man, I think, the uh, raccoon. Skunk man. What magical substance does Professor Philip Brainerd invent in Disney's Flubber? Flubber? How is this a question? Because <laughs> that is the correct answer. Yeah, maybe they're asking for the scientific name for That it. is not fair. In Disney Pixar's Toy Story 2, which character says he is carrying about six dollars in change? I knew the answer to this one. Carrying six dollars in change? Is that like a, a metaphor for something? <laughs> is it like, he's like thick and he's only carrying six dollars in change? Is it Al? It's ham because he's a piggy bag. Oh. You muffin. Oh. Okay, you went all like existential and deep well, in the I thought, Yeah, because he meant like his thumb <laughs> or something. Uh, okay. Which country are the four bobsled team members from? Jamaica. I want to like read the remainder <laughs> of the question. Go for it. Isn't that 
But I got nothing clever, so it's, <laughs> it's Jamaica. I should actually check the back, but yes, it's Jamaica. Yeah. Okay, that's another one for you. The song Perfect Isn't Easy is performed by Bette Midler in what Disney movie? Stella, Beaches, or Oliver and Company? Uh, Oliver is a company. Oliver isn't company. Well, that wasn't one of the answers, so... Oliver, Oliver and Company. That's correct. I don't think Beaches is a Disney movie, is it? Well, it's got Bette Midler, and so some people might Bette immediately Midler. assume, Oh, it's going to oh, be that one. It's a terror. Yeah. That's what I was hoping your brain would do, but... No. No such luck. In Disney's Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, Ooh. where does Minnie Mouse work? Bakery? Oh, this is a good answer, actually. A department store. The store is called Mortimer's after the name Walt Disney originally yeah. considered giving to Mickey. Before his wife stepped in and said, That's a stupid name. Well, sort your bloody life out of me. We ain't going nowhere with that kind of naming. And, and you can't that? draw. <laughs> <laughs> in a very supportive relationship, according to you. What is the only Disney theme park with a Liberty Square themed land? Magic Kingdom? Dang it. So what do they call it? That, um, thing? I guess they don't have a Liberty Square. It's just street. part of like Frontierland. You just or... go into Adventureland, I guess. What animated segment on Disney's One Saturday Morning combines science and humor in a courtroom? Oh my gosh, I've never heard of this. Uh, no, no. Science Court. <laughs> Let's watch that. Are you science watching that? Science Court. Tell me what it's about if you have watched it, because yeah, I'm very intrigued by that. Court. I, I, I think I have a bit of a downside. Maybe you too, because we're not we're not from America, and so Disney Channel in America showed different stuff yeah. to what it did in the UK. What Disney film is about a bobsled team preparing for the Winter Olympics? Cool Runnings. Sorry again, you've neglected to say Disney's. Cool Disney's runnings? Cool Runnings. Who's the coach? It's John Candy. What country are they from? Jamaica. Do they win? No. What city is it set in? Calgary. Spoilers for people who haven't seen that. <laughs> who hasn't seen Cool? You haven't seen Cool Runnings. I've what seen, are you doing? I've seen Cool Runnings, guys. Exactly. So she hasn't seen Mary Poppins or Peter. Have Mayer. I seen all of Cool Runnings? What? Yes, I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I just. It's an old movie. I can't really remember it very well. I oh, watched it like twice. Anyways, next question before we're actually home. Okay. In the song "That's What Friends Are For" from the Jungle Book, yeah. who tells Mowgli that they are his friends to the bitter end? Oh, it's the vultures. Yeah, I was like, what? Yeah. That I was thinking it was right. King Louie for a second, but no, it was, yeah, vultures, the beetles. <laughs> the beetles and Beetles, but not the beetles. In vulture form. In Oliver and Company, who writes the ransom note about Oliver? Fagin, Sykes, or Oliver? Sykes. Mm. Yes, that is incorrect. Oh. It was Fagin. Oh, that's what I was gonna go with. But I, I know, thought, but I willed you uh, to not say that. You willed me <laughs> internally. I dared round you. What Disneyland park attraction used to go through the Matterhorn Mountain? Oh. Um. The Autopia. No, oh. the Skyway. Oh. Okay, you have two cards left, Chief. No. In Disney's Doug's first movie, what does Doug come face to face with at Lucky Duck Lake? Ah, it's like the Loch Ness Monster, but it's not the Loch Ness Monster. Patty Mayonnaise? Oh. <laughs> a monster? A monster. Or his long lost cousin? Monster. Yes. Dark's Pandemonium Carnival comes to Greentown in what Disney movie? Uh. Is it the green something? No. No, I don't know. Something this wicked this way comes. Oh, I don't know. What Disney animated character will come if you give a little whistle? Give a little whistle? Uh, it's uh, Jiminy Cricket. Yeah. In Disney's Fantasia 2000, what trick do magicians pen and teller do? Saw a man in half, pull a rabbit out of a hat, or make Mickey Mouse disappear. 
Mickey Mouse disappeared. Mm. They do the very stereotypical pull a rabbit out of a hat. Oh. Well, Penn yeah, and Teller. They wouldn't saw you. someone in half on, on Fantasia. They well, Penn and Teller, you know, on their they... Vegas show will do that. <laughs> True or false? The Jungle Cruise attraction at Disneyland Park was renovated to take on the theme of the animated feature Disney Stars in. Oh, that would have been interesting, but false. It was false because the Swiss family treehouse yeah. was the one that was changed to the yeah. Tarzan theme. That would be good though. Jungle Cruise would have been good as a Tarzan theme. I like the Jungle Book. You like the Jungle Book? Uh, sorry, Tarzan. You like the Tarzan? <laughs> I like the Tarzan movie. Do you like Jungle Cruise? I like Jungle Cruise, I like Tarzan, but I don't like the idea of climbing around a tree, so Tarzan with the tree is no good to me. Okay. In a Goofy movie, last card here, what mythical backwoods creature does Goofy and Max encounter at... Sasquatch. Bigfoot. Thank you. Sasquatch, same thing. Not really. <laughs> what subject does Lemuel Sin study in Disney's Follow Me, Boys? What does he study? Yeah. Bugs? Mm. Law. 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 In the song, Best Friends, from a 1981 animated feature, what are the names of the two characters who are best friends? Best friends. Oh, it's, um, Copper and... It's the Fox and Hell, isn't it? I don't have the answer in here in front of me. Oh, no, they don't sing Best Friends. They, the owl sings about them being Best of Friends, so that can't be them. It's not copper. Turn back. In the song Best Friends from a 1981 animated feature, what are the names of the two characters who are best friends? Oh, uh, okay. It's copper. I could have not done that for you, it's by the copper. way. It's copper. Copper. You gotta get it. You gotta get his name, man. What's his name? Ian? <laughs> Ian? Copper. Copper. Copper's the dog. Fox is uh, uh, Don't know, I can't remember. I can't remember. What's the name? It's Todd. Oh you Doom Buggy. <laughs> <laughs> what Disneyland attraction is named after the pen name of a famous author? What Disneyland attraction? Correct. Is named after the pen name yes. of an author. Yes. Disneyland. Ah, ba 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 ba. Is it the Alice in Wonderland one? Question for all the points. Ready? For one point, really. Okay. What is the name of the Mighty Ducks hockey team mascot? Quackers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen that movie in years. Wild Wing. Uh, oh. How, uh, how many did I get wrong? So, what is it? We asked 10 cards. 10 cards. Five so questions on a card, so 50, out of 50. Out of 50. Got 27. You barely scraped by. That's with the pass. over half. That's over half. Barely. Okay, so now we're going to quiz Jenna. Me? See if she's any good. Pressure. Probably not. See, I just want to get better than 27. That's my goal. Yeah, 27 is all you need to be. 